Hey guys, it's Tony. Um, so today's episode is actually going to be about me going to pick up a pallet. So this is the first pallet I ever buy and it's about I think 254 units. It's from B-Stock Liquidation. So I gave it a shot. It's from Nordstrom Rack. So I expect some pretty good neat stuff in there. And let's see what that's about. So I'm about to go on my way to go pick it up and film some funny stuff along the way. All right, guys, so the pallet is here. We ended up picking it up, but the driver didn't want to be recorded. And here it is. So uh, this is pretty much the pallet. Uh, it's pretty neat. My father's just driving it out. Uh, he's asking what's in there. I'm not letting him do all the work. I'm just recording. So basically, I'm going to break down this pallet, and we're just going to put it in the van. And I'll do the rest of this unboxing of the pallet at home. It's a whole bunch of totes, bags, and shoes from Nordstrom Rack. So hopefully there's some pretty neat stuff in there. All right, guys. See you in a few. All right, everyone. I finished unpacking. It is a lot of shit. I mean, stuff. Um, I didn't expect it to be so much stuff. And we should have bought the bigger car. But my dad wanted to bring the blue van. The minivan and there's an overview of all the stuff he got in there so it's a whole bunch of shoes some sam edelman some michael kors stuff uh french connection uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here shoes clothes oh man uh i have to sort this all out and so when i get back to you guys i am going to show you exactly what i got and this might be split into two videos because it's 254 units so it's a lot of stuff all right everyone that's promise i actually unpacked it and this is for real. This is not even all of the shoes present in this actual palette. Uh, this is like one bin out of one, two, three, four, five, six, because I unpacked one. Six bins. And you know what? I'm going to show you part of the jackets that came in. And that's like a little bit of the jackets that came in. That's not actually all of them. So that's, you know, it's only a little bit. Tomorrow I'm going to do part two, which is about the jackets that came in and an overview of this thing of this palette like i said is from b stock liquidation it cost me a thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and seven cents seven cents there was 254 units in this palette so approximation is going to be five dollars and seventy one cents seventy one cents a unit let me do the math real quick to make sure that is actually correct if i go to my calculator uh, let's see, 1451.07 divided by 254. Yeah, 571 a unit. So, $5.71 a unit. And this all are brand name stuff from Nordstrom Rack. So, it's actually returns. Uh, well, not returns. Actually, surprisingly, these are all in great shape. So, it looks like to be shelf poles from Nordstrom Rack. And some of these stores are actually going through liquidation because... As you can see, the pandemic hit, so they couldn't really sell most of their outfits out. And it happened, so they're going through liquidation sites, selling their stuff out. This one came from bstock.com, so make sure to check them out. If you like the stuff that I present to you, um, make sure to give them a look. Uh, the only thing I do have to say is that if you do sell it on your website or you do sell it in your stores, they do have a requirement. I don't know if they check, but if they do check, um, you have to take out the tags. And you literally have to cross out the brand or take out the labeling from the actual piece of article because that's a requirement that they have unfortunately um, and I don't think you can use their actual brand name of the, the shoe on your website so that's something that you might want to take into account um, but let's get into it let's see what's up and also don't forget to like and subscribe this video because today I'm actually going to be doing one of those giveaways I did promise um, on unboxing videos so if you see me my posts with me pushing the pilot which is literally my thumbnail uh, make sure you uh, give that photo a like and you follow the instructions so you're entered to win an actual $50 Visa gift card and this is not sponsored by YouTube or bstock.com this is from me personally giving you my viewers um, some love back so just make sure you go to my Instagram it's gonna be in my account and follow the post but if you do want to see what I got and maybe you do like something from here let's dive in so the first thing I got was a if I 
I'm not mistaken. Is a the first thing I got was a Jungless. Uh, these are rain boots. They literally tagged them at $34.97. So it's a bit of a markdown from $72.95, which is the original price. I have not checked them yet. I never actually seen this brand. Um, I've only sewn like three rain boots before and they were not branded. So if, the ours, if these are brand named and they are pretty famous, I don't think I should have a problem selling these at all. So I have two rain boots from JC Play. Uh, they're tagged here at $34.97. The original price is $55. Uh, they look pretty neat. Um, pretty simple, I guess, like rain boots. And they sh I, I believe they should sell. I, I mean, I've sold only like three pairs and they look almost similar to the ones I'm selling right now. So, you know, give them a shot, right? The next one I have here is Chuka. So, Chuka, I've actually seen it and I have never actually got my hands on them to resell um these go for about 34.97 in nordstrom rack so i don't know i mean that's what they're priced at but chuka also if you do have any comments on the stuff that i have or opinions on some of the brands that i show off um do leave a comment below i love hearing your opinions and your experiences selling these specific brands any tips advices you may have for me or for the viewers watching it that way we all get a heads up on certain brands what sell what doesn't sell based on your experience if you have sold it or your opinions on what the shoes look like to see if you as a consumer would actually buy them just make sure you leave a comment and i always read them and i love to reply and interact back with you guys so we do have another chuka and usually b stock what they do with shoes is they put them together in rubber bands so make sure you take them out um they don't give boxes with these so don't expect to have the actual box just the shoe itself um like i said these are actually pretty neat another chuka rain boot and these are actually leopard designs i believe uh they look pretty neat um like i said they're pretty high quality i can pretty much tell uh, yeah there's pretty much a lot of cushion inside here it's brand new so um my opinion these look pretty neat so there's 254 units so i am definitely going to be splitting this video into two and who knows in the second video i might do another giveaway so just stay tuned right double giveaways next up these are vince uh not vince camutos uh but vince so made in italy shoes these are pretty neat um i've never actually heard of the brand vince before i know they're not vince camuto because vince camuto has a specific labeling and um it has a specific brand to them on the bottom of the shoe but these are 7m uh, these are size 7 these are really nice all right so we have other rain boots from jeffrey campbell um these look similar to the other rain boots i've shown similar because they do have a specific design so if you see on the bottom it has its own very unique design um i'm able to actually tell the difference which is surprising let's pay attention to detail right um these look pretty neat they actually go for the same as the other boots so let's give it a shot right and these are another set of jeffrey campbell uh rain boots these are designed a little bit differently if you pay attention to the bottom of the shoe um they are designed differently and but they do have a nice texture to them i guess jeffrey campbell does make a lot of rain boots um they are similarly priced as the other rain boots so i'm just going to give them a shot and i mean from the naked eye they look similar but if you pay close attention to the detail they do have it each own particular design sorel Sorella I've actually sold once before and that was last year when I got my hands on them so they are pretty good shoes to resell my opinion I sold these really quickly as soon as I listed them the next day they were gone uh, these are really neat I, to be honest this ladies this looks really good uh, they're permeable so it's good for the rain and they have a really nice nice design to them so you, you never know these actually could sell these actually could sell the very next day that I list them so check them out and they could be on my website hunter boots so the brand hunter i've actually never heard of them before up until today um these are really neat i think these are english so the english style rain boots and they look really well uh this is a size eight in the u.s um they retail for close to about a hundred dollars and i guess in nordstrom rack so i just have to see what the market demand for is and these are actually really neat um poof. i actually like the color i don't know I, this is up for women so not for me <laughs> so i've actually got a hold of these fries uh f-r-y-e i know these are really expensive uh these are really good <laughs> i know this is a really good brand so 
Uh, I just got to check if the zipper works. So let's give that out. Let's actually give it a shot. The, the zipper works. That means that's that's the one thing you want to check. If when you get shoes like these with zippers, you want to make sure the zippers actually work and they're not damaged. Because if they are damaged, which they're not, uh, that may that is a good sign. Um, these are relatively new, which means they've never been used. The design is actually pretty good. You can tell the heel is nice, soft, never used before. So, and we're gonna move on to Tommy Hilfiger, right? Tommy Hilfiger, um, Hilfiger, I, I, tomato tomatoes. I always pronounce this. I always butcher that name, so don't hold it against me, or you can actually. Um, but these are nice. Um, I know these sell is a well-known brand. I don't know exactly what the market is for it, so. You know, it's still it's still a good sell in my opinion. It's brand new, never used. So I'm gonna shoot for it and hopefully sell it for a lot. So I got these Mark Fishers. Um see these high heel boots, Mark Fishers. These are actually pretty neat. Um not used brand new. I mean Nordstrom Rack literally has them at almost at $130. So I don't know what the market demand on for this specific style of boot. So I'm definitely going to look it up and try to sell it for as much as I can. All right, guys. So that's bin number one. I'm going to move on to bin number two. All right, guys. So this is bin number two. And remember I said about the contest. So if you didn't see the post up yet, um, that's because I'm saving it randomly throughout the video. So once you see the post, you'll know which post to go like in my Instagram and actually participate, right, for the giveaway. All right. Let's go to the second bin. Um, I found two more, a Jeffrey Campbell's, which is the JC mark I was talking about earlier today. Uh, Jeffrey Campbell, right? I found like about two more pairs, three pairs actually, inside bin number two. So I put those aside because they were the same thing, same size, number eight. So I have a variety of them. So I'm going to start off by showing the first shoe. First shoe of bin number two. These are called Hispanitas. Uh, these are actually from Spain. Um, they look pretty nice. I've never actually heard from it heard about them um i think they're size 8 so the size 38 uh they look pretty nice pretty well made suede leather uh like i said i've never actually heard of them before they do have a tri-flow gel system so if anybody looks for comfort these are yours um so let's see how they go on the market i found another set of hunters uh these are black rain boots these are low cut not like the big giant <laughs> Uh, boot that you found uh, these are size 39 us 8 so size 38 might actually be us 7 so I might have been wrong yes us 7 size 38 us 7 uh, these are actually really nice um, I think hunter did a magnificent job designing these so let's see how these go so I got my hands on another set of chuka so these are pretty nice they have a nice flower like design and these will go out for sale as well and I have another set of hunters and these are blue. So pretty much the low cut version of that giant boot that I showed you earlier in the video. Uh, these are pretty nice, uh, well made. Uh, like I said, I think these are an English brand, they're a UK brand. And they're size US 8, so these are pretty neat. And I've never heard of them before, but if I look at the price tag on the bottom, they're astronomical, $100 for these boots. So uh, I don't know what the market's going for now. I'm going to list them on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So I'm across this part, all three platforms. So next, I came across Sperry. Uh, Sperry, I've only sold once before. Um, relatively good sale, I could say. Um, these look pretty nice. So Woman 7. Uh, I think I can sell them for a good amount of money. Um, make profit off of $5.71, so that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's see how that goes. Next, I have these Sorel boots. Um, as you can see, and the trend, <laughs> the trend is going that I'm getting a lot of winter clothes, um, which is okay in my opinion. They might not sell right, right away, but they are eventually going to sell because winter time is going to come up we're going to have a relatively short summer unfortunately next i have joseph Siebel. i've never actually heard of this um supposedly it's a european brand so i'm gonna have to see how that sells i think it looks really nice um well made good quality i just have to see if the brand itself sells online if it does awesome all right so i got another uh, low cut boot from sorel these are actually pretty nice they have a nice felt like theme too so 
I think these are pretty fantastic. I don't know if they could sell. I guess I've only sold Sorel, I think, once before. So, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. So, I got a hold of these Sam Edelmans. Sam Edelmans is pretty good, in um, my opinion. There's It's a well-known brand, Sam Edelman. And I've only sold, like, two pairs of Sam Edelmans before. And those are the only two pairs that I've ever had. So, no, actually, I do have only one pair left. And I might have it already on both my dad's ebay store and my poshmark so i know these will definitely sell all right so we have some mark fishers uh, again these are pretty nice uh they have a good feel to them so i know mark fisher is a really good brand i just don't know how much these are selling for online um so i'm just gonna give it my best shot and another chuka boot um different design same concept waterproof rain boot and another boot franco sarto uh franco sarto i've actually sold before uh in person and also online so i know these do sell uh this specific type of boot i don't know if i'll be able to sell online really quickly or if it's going to take a while and my favorite brand to find tim's timberland so timberland waterproof boots do sell really well um i've always sell timberlands so whenever i list them they just go pew, they fly away um excuse me fiona quiet I right, asked my dog. She usually likes to interrupt the videos. But they do sell pretty well. Tim's, I'm really happy about it because Tim's do sell well. All right, guys. Let's go to bin number three. All right, guys. So we're proceeding with bin number three. Next up on the bin is some are a pair of some Sam Edelman uh, high boots. These are mostly like cloth-like material. Um, I've actually never sold one of these cloth-like material uh, boots. So hopefully it goes well because it's Sam Edelman. And we got some nice pair of Chuka boots. Um, waterproof, simple, nice gray. Another pair of Chuka boots. I also, that bin, I got a pair, another pair of Jeffrey Campbell's. So it looks like they stuffed my uh, palette with Jeffrey Campbell stuff. So one thing I like seeing are Michael Kors shoes because I know Michael Kors sells pretty well. The MK right there. Voila. Um, I know these pairs sell pretty well. Michael Kors is Michael Kors. So whenever I get a hold of these, they generally sell. I got a hold of some Mark Fishers. It's sort of similar like the Edelman, Sam Edelman, except this one's more expensive. I don't know if the brand is more expensive. Uh, I pretty much don't know, but I think Mark Fisher's still a good brand, so hopefully it does relatively well. And I got another, and I got another cloth boot. Uh, this one's from Via Spiga. I've actually never heard of the brand before, so I'm pretty much cold in the water. On this one so i don't know if it's going to sell really well or not i have to do my research on via Spiga. i think before i bought it i did do some research and i know they sell somewhat well i just don't know if this specific model will sell well if there is one brand that i like getting my hands on uggs uh whenever i list these they just sell either the same day the next day or within a few three four days because uggs are uggs they always sell so lucky for me, these came in, they're in good condition, no rip, no tears, nothing. And I know these are going to sell. So we have another pair of Sam Edelman's. Uh, these are brown leather, so I know these are pretty good. Um, brown leather shoes have sold for me before. Sam Edelman, like I said, it's a good, relatively known brand, so it should sell pretty well on either eBay or Poshmark. I don't know that much about Mercari because I've barely shown any barely sold any shoes in mercari abound boots uh i actually these are pretty neat i don't know i think the red laces were a good idea uh i've never heard of abound never heard of that brand before so i pretty much don't know what they might go for so uh hopefully i didn't i luck out and sell these donald pliner i've never heard of this brand before um these i mean the material feels really well put actually it looks expensive um but I've never heard of it before, so I am going to test my luck out to see if this sells. So I actually got a hold of these Jeffrey Campbells. Um, they are rain boots. It looks like Jeffrey Campbell makes a lot of rain boots. Um, but they actually look pretty decent. Uh, they look different from the other rain boots that I have. So who knows? They might actually sell before the actual other rain boots that I post on. And I have these Chinese Laundry from Los Angeles um it would be kind of an oxymoron to say chinese laundry made in the usa <laughs> that'd be absolutely insane that'd be a first for me but uh they look relatively nice uh, never actually heard of chinese laundry before so i don't know if it's a good brand um the tip of the shoe is well made it looks like 
there might have been a little damage from the actual traveling here so because everything was stuffed in one box uh it's still relatively well so i'm gonna give it a shot another pair of uggs uggs and these are usually the most common ones i get my hands on which is like the low cut boot type of one and i've sold uggs before used ones and i sold them for like 20 30 bucks so i don't know new ones how they much how much they would go for so i'm gonna give it a shot and hopefully i do sell them for a lot and lucked out another pair of uggs uh but this one is more like a high rise type of ug i've never seen this type of ug before so i don't know i mean uggs are uggs They're, the brand is there the brand is very powerful but i don't know if this style of shoe will sell for me or if it won't so i hopefully the brand is what sells the shoe which usually is the case brands sell the product I'm going to go on to bin number four. All right, guys. So this is bin number four. And bin number four only got one Jeffrey Campbell shoe. And that's that big boot type of shoe. So I'm just going to run through the bin number four. That way you guys can see what I got. First one up is Born. Um, never actually heard of this. Both zippers do go all the way down though. So that's pretty good. I've never heard of Born before. Sorry, guys. I've never heard of Born before. Um, it looks pretty neat. I don't know if that's the design or if it's beat up. Um, I know the bottom of the shoe is pretty good condition, which means it hasn't been worn at all. Uh, except for maybe the heel, so I don't know. I have to check it out and see how much they resell for. So I got another Chuka boot, and uh, like I said, Chuka boots are pretty good. Um, do they sell? As far as I've done research, they kind of do. So it just depends on the season and who buying them and who's interested. But these look pretty neat and different from the ones I've gotten before. Got these Sam Edelman uh, suede... Uh, high boots so these are pretty neat uh sam edelman is sam edelman so these are self these will sell for sure the zippers do go all the way down so that's pretty good no damage another boots by franco sorta and um franco sorta i think they have pretty good neat boots um only thing is that little bugger right there if you guys can see it but i don't know if that's going to bring down the value but either way um the boots are in pretty good condition and I think they should really definitely sell at a good price. And you got boots by Naturalizer. I've never heard of this brand, so I'm just gonna test my luck out. And you have these little boots by BP. I've never heard of the brand BP. So I have to do my research and find out if they sell and for how much they sell and if they're gonna do relatively well. And you have these by Tom's. Uh, these little booties by Tom are pretty good. Tom's do sell, I know that for sure. I've sold one or two Tom's before in the past when I was doing eBay part-time. Um, so I know Tom's will really sell. The only thing is that I have this, which I don't know how to get rid of. Ah, you know, I hate to see these, these shoes come in there like that. So I'm just gonna try my luck to see if they sell. I do have a suede cleaner, so I'm just gonna try to do my best to fix this one up. And you have Soul. Um, I have never heard of Soul before, so I am going to anyway give it a shot because it's in my inventory and Soul by Naturalizer. So I guess natural. This is another shoe by Naturalizer. It's just called Soul. Uh, I don't know. Never heard of Naturalizer before. First time ever getting my hands on it and see if it sells. And I have these pink boots by Cohan. Now I know Cohan sells. I've sold like one or two persons by Cohan. Never shoes by Cohan. But I know the brand is really well known. The only thing I don't like is seeing is those things. But that can be expected from, uh, you know, a big palette where everything's stuffed in the side of the box. So I'm just going to give it a shot. And these simple boots by Chuka. Um, yeah, Chuka and Jeffrey Campbell have rated my uh, palette so far. Full of those things. And these beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> uh, beautiful red boots by Franco Sorta. Um, these look really expensive, so I don't want to damage these. Uh, they seem to be in pretty good condition, both the interior and the exterior. Seven and a half, that's the size. Zippers do go down, so I made sure of that before I presented it to you guys. Um, they go for about 110 on the tag, but let's see what they go for online. All right, guys, that's bin number four. Let's move on to bin number five and then bin number six. I promise it'll be short because I'll probably find more of those Chukas and Jeffrey Campbell probably rain boots in those bins as well so we got bin number five uh i only found one jeffrey campbell so that's good <laughs> no offense to jeffrey campbell shoes but when you get too much of one shoe in a specific box you're like oh come on is there any any other different ones um so let's go with the first one uggs yes uggs another pair of uggs man and i'm telling you 
I I think I got lucky because I have never got my hands on so many Uggs before. Um, the mo the most I've ever gotten is like one per like one lot of stuff that I get from like a specific set of sales or a specific set of place where I buy my stuff from. But oh man, I got lucky. No shrimp rack. Way to go. So Uggs. And I got a hold of some Sorrels too. These are actually pretty neat. Uh, except for that, you know, I think that can I can clean that. I have like a suede cleaner. So that's not even a problem when it comes to cleaning that part. Uh, suede cleaners come in handy, especially when you sell shoes. Another pair of Uggs. And these actually look really neat. I'm not gonna lie. The nice little star design there. Um, Uggs Australia. Well, Uggs, so it's pretty good. I know I can sell these. And we struck gold again. Another pair of Uggs. These ones are black. Um, pretty good condition, neat. Tags on them and everything. Oh man, I am so lucky. Pajar. I have never actually heard of this brand. It's a Canadian brand. Um, looks really expensive. Actually, I could guess I could compare it to like a hybrid between Timberlands and Uggs because of the interior. So let's see. Zipper, if the zipper goes up, that's great. Let me, before I break the shoe. Right? And voila, the zipper goes up. So that's pretty good. I think they should relatively sell pretty well. I don't know. I mean, they look like really high quality boots. Another high rise uh Sam Metalman boots. So you know Sam Metalman sells. And we have another boot by Born. Uh like I said, I've never heard of Born before. So I'm going to try my luck at selling Born, see what happens. Another boot by Mark Fisher. Um suede all the way. Looks like it, so I have to give it a bit of a cleaning with my suede material, suede cleaners. Uh but this looks amazing and it's priced pretty high, so let's see if it sells pretty high. Then we have another boot by Sperry. Uh, well, these Sperrys, uh, I've never sold Sperry before, so I don't know how they'll go. But these are relatively nice, well made, and hopefully I get lucky. And the name I like butchering the most, Tommy Hilfiger, Hilfiger, I, I give up. Um, another one of these, these are rain boots uh, mixed with, I guess, like some nice design. And I know to Tommy's do sell, so these are pretty good, size 8. Um, I can expect these to sell pretty quickly. So that's it for bin number five. Let's go on to the last bin of today, which is bin number six. All right, guys. So to finish off today's unboxing of half the palette, uh, bin number six contained four Jeffrey Campbell uh, rain boots. Uh, another invasion of Jeffrey Campbell. <laughs> the Jeffrey Campbell invasion. And I have another replica of Sam Metalman boots. Um, a specific one that I showed before that was fully, uh, I think, leather. And it's really good. Sam Edelman's good. I'm happy about it. The more Sam Edelman, the better. So let's start off, our, let's start off with palette, uh, bin number six, which would end it all. Let's start off with some Franco Sarto, uh, these long boots. Uh, like I said, Franco Sarto is something that I've sold before. It tells really well. So while setting up bin number six, I found these hunters and actually looked them up. They are really expensive. So if I do sell these, I should make a killing off of these and oh my god. And buying these at five ninety five said what is it, five seventy one a unit. Um I know I'm definitely gonna make a good flip on this palette. Oh so we have these interesting Sam Edelman white boots. I've never actually seen this design before. They look really cute in my opinion. I don't know. If you like white and you like boots, perfect for you. And I got another Sperry boots. Uh this one's blue. Uh, navy blue and I think it's really nice they're really nice uh, Sperry's in the meanwhile I did research them while setting up bin number six on the table and they do sell so I'm in luck and lucky me I got a full tall boot suede from Sam Edelman all right so that's pretty good the Sam Edelman invasion is there and I think that's pretty good because Sam Edelman is a known brand and the Sam Edelman invasion continues and this one is a uh, high-rise boot Fully leather, uh, not fake leather, and it's really good. I've, I know this was a. And another Sam Edelman. Um, this one, I don't know if the tip is designed that way. I'm kind of worried about that, um, especially the heels. So I don't know if these have been worn. They still have the tags on the bottom, but I'll do my best to sell them. Regardless of Sam Edelman, they look really cute. They look really nice, so I'll give them a good shot. Another boot by Naturalizer. Um, like I said, I don't know Naturalizer. I didn't even research it while setting up bin number six. So that's something I have to do. A little bit of homework for me. 
So I came across these uh, boots, high rise by Report. I've never, I've never heard of that brand before, so I don't know. It might be an outlier or the ugly duckling of the the palette where I just don't sell these. I don't know. Let's try it out. And I got another pair of uh, high boots from Franco Sarto. So the Franco Sarto Invasion is also is also there. Uh, that's pretty good. So I think I may run a bit of luck with these Franco Sartos. When I talked about the ugly ducklings of the the palette, I think I might have underestimated the other shoe. Um, I have no idea who designed the shoes like this. It's by Cork Ease. This is an actual design. It's funny. It's an actual design. Guys, I have never seen this in my life. Um, I don't know if it'll sell. It's weird to me. But everybody has their own distinct taste, so I don't know. If if it sells, awesome. If it doesn't, I, it's well expected. And the last of bin number six, the John Less. John Less. I seriously don't know. I butchered this name today. Uh, polka Dot Boots. Rain Boots. They actually look pretty neat if you take a look from far. Ooh. Uh, and these are the last of the bin. Um, I did some research. It is a pretty good brand. Um, so I know I'm gonna make a killing off these shoes and all right guys that was it uh, that's half the palette I'm gonna take a break for today um, it's been a lot of work so I have the next step is for me to process these shoes and list them on eBay Poshmark and Mercari so I can start making some money and hopefully I can flip over um, as promised $50 Visa gift card so there should be an image that appears right here on my instagram you'll find on my instagram uh just make sure to go there follow the instructions and i'm just gonna tell the instructions flat out uh just make sure you like the post and comment youtube on that post and that way you're entered in, to participate in my so-called competition where i hand out 50 dollars visa gift card to the winner remember this is not sponsored by youtube bstock or any other company this is my own uh, free giveaway to thank you the viewers for watching this video and this pile of unboxing for sticking for me for this long if you watched all the way to the end so guys uh, pretty much appreciate it and I'm going to do part two after I change and take a small break of that palette which will be the jackets and the clothing that came in from this palette so again thank you for watching make sure you like subscribe like I said every unboxing video there will be a different competition Today is that $50 Visa gift card. Make sure you go and like my videos. Make sure you go like that post. Participate right away. And I will announce the winner on part two. And we'll also announce what I'm going to give away in part two of the video. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next part. I'll see you in part two.